Network pen testing is such a core area, very crucial thing to understand if you want to become a pen tester, even if you plan to focus in on say web pen testing or red teaming or mobile, I guarantee you there's going to be some crossover between that and network pen testing. And because of that, that is why anytime you go into these job interviews, regardless, they're going to ask you questions about it. And you're going to have to have at least a solid foundation in it in order to succeed and get into the field. Now, with that being said, what is the fastest way to learn network pen testing, right? Let's just get straight to it. That's I'm sure on a lot of people's minds because there's so much information out there. It's no longer a matter of, can I find the information? It's what information should I prioritize? Well, it really comes down to a few key principles if you wanna learn this as fast as possible. The first one is structure. You wanna find some kind of structured learning plan for this stuff. A lot of people have created different recommendations on the things you should focus on, perhaps even what order you should focus on them in. Find that somewhere, right? Because the biggest problem you're gonna run into as a beginner, especially as a complete beginner, is that you don't know what you don't know. So don't make the mistake that a lot of people make in that you try to come up with your own learning plan, just go by someone that has already achieve what you're trying to achieve. Someone that's already a pen tester and is already solid at network pen testing, you know, see what they have to say, follow their plan. And this is stuff that, you know, you could find out there on the internet, perhaps, you know, you could go to a site like Try Hack Me. I know they have a network pen testing path out there that you could follow. So that is one thing that you want to do is just find some kind of path out there, some kind of structured plan to really structure your learning. Now, the second thing you want to do is you want to find people that are also learning network pen testing and surround yourself with those people, network with them, become friends with those people because we're social creatures. You know, we are very influenced by the people around us. So if all your friends are doing, you know, let's say all your friends are just getting drunk every weekend, you're more likely to also live that lifestyle. Now, conversely, if all your friends are millionaires, you're more likely to be a millionaire. So if your goal is to learn network pen testing, you want to make friends with people that are also doing what you're doing. Now, the good news with this is that we live in 2022, the age of the internet. So you might not have people in your immediate vicinity that you know, you know, face to face that have the same goals as you and they're going for network pen testing. You might not be able to find that. Well, you could use the internet to maybe find meetups and things like that of people in your area, or you could completely go the digital route and you could join communities where there's other people people pursuing pen testing on the internet. And you can network with those people in those groups and surround yourself with them and get this benefit that I'm talking about through that as well. So there's just so many opportunities to really apply this, but definitely don't skip out on this one and don't make the mistake that a lot of people make in that they try to be a lone wolf and learn this stuff in isolation. You're going to get so many motivational boosts just by surrounding yourself with these people. And you're going to be able to generate that motivation far in excess of what anyone trying to go the lone wolf route ever could. And the next thing you want to do is you want to set a very firm schedule that you're going to stick to throughout this learning process. Now, one thing we can't control is our outcomes directly, but we can control the steps that we take along the way. So for example, if I want to grow a YouTube channel to a hundred thousand subscribers, I can't control that directly. You know, I could, you know, befall a black swan event where YouTube is no longer a platform or my channel gets taken down or something happens. Right. But what I can control are the actions that I take. So we want to make our goals based on actions. So going back to that example, if I want a hundred thousand subscriber YouTube channel, I can consistently make content, right? I can create X number of videos a week. And in fact, if you look back on this channel in the last two years, that has been my strategy to get to this point so far. Now, similarly, if you want to become a network pen tester, instead of focusing on becoming a network pen tester, focus on how can I, you know, what are the steps that I need to take in order to, to do that, right? Hopefully we covered that by finding the structure. Okay, well now how can I actually execute and make sure that I'm doing that. One way is to set a schedule because if you have a schedule, that is something that you can 100% control that you execute on that, right? So start to figure out what times are available to work and start filling in the things you need to do into those time slots. Because if you have a job right now, if you work a regular job, chances are your boss doesn't say, okay, this work needs to get done. Just do it whenever you want. You know, you can work whenever you feel like it. Maybe you have an amazing job where um, it's completely like 
you make your own hours, that's one thing. But even if you're making your own hours in your job, chances are you have some kind of schedule with that. Otherwise, let's face it, it's not going to get done. Same thing with learning network pen testing. If you say, oh, I'll do it whenever I have motivation or whatever, and you don't have a strict plan, then chances are you're going to fall short of your goals. Maybe this has happened to you before. Now, what can we do about that? Well, instead, we want to give it the same level of respect as we do our job, and we want to set a very strict schedule. This is especially important early on. We want to develop the habit of learning pen testing. Now, when it comes to putting in these hours, they're not all created equal either. If you work the standard nine to five, for example, putting in two hours after work is not the same as putting in two hours before work. And the reason for that is that your energy is finite. Once you work your nine to five, I don't know about you, but for me, and I think for most people, the nine to five can take a little bit of energy from you. You know, it's, it's a bit taxing. So saying that I'm going to put in two hours after work, you might find that those two hours are not nearly the quality they would be if you, whereas if instead you put those two hours in before you went to work. So that would be what I would recommend. You know, maybe you only have an hour. That's fine. Whatever it is, an hour, two hours, whatever it is, try to put that in before work or some period of time before work when you have all your energy still intact. And you're going to find that you're going to be so much more efficient in your learning. But whatever schedule you adopt, just stick to that schedule and make sure that you develop that habit that, okay, it's this time and this day. That means I am learning network pen testing right now. And if you do this over a period of time, eventually you're going to get there. And this is exactly the process that I followed in order to get to where I am today when it came to learning network pen testing, web app pen testing, all these different areas. Now, while this was great and a lot better than what most people do and what people that just rely on college do, right? I was still very inefficient. And because of that is why I created my recent course that I just dropped yesterday, if you haven't heard of it already, that is the network pen testing workshop. The reason I created this workshop was to address all the things that I didn't know, the shortcuts Cummings, all the tragedies that befell me when I was first learning this stuff to really distill down everything that I wish I had when I was first learning this stuff. In this workshop, which is available down in the description below, if you want to find in even more information about it, because let's face it, I can't possibly cover everything in this video without making it insanely long. I don't want to waste anyone's time here. I want to be really efficient in our time as we talk about efficiency on this channel, right? But just to really efficiently tell you what it encompasses is that it's going to be a six week course where I'm going to be holding your hand through the entire learning process when it comes to learning network pen testing. And if you are a complete beginner watching this video, let me just say network pen testing is a great choice to start out with. Just because I was talking about it in the very beginning of this video coming full circle, it encompasses so much. No matter what you want to do in pen testing, there's going to be some kind of overlap. So it's such a core fundamental. I always say it's part of the big three, web pen testing, network pen testing, and active directory pen testing. But I would even say out of those three, this is the biggest area. There's always overlap and it's always going to be in demand, something that you absolutely can't skip out on if you are serious about becoming a pen tester. And in this workshop, what we're going to be doing is teaching you guys network pen testing, no matter your skill level from the ground up. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, it's just going to be like this, but way, way better because you're going to have live access to me. I'm going to be demonstrating different recon and exploitation techniques of network pen testing in a live environment. And not only that, you know, we preach hands-on, hands-on, hands-on learning on this channel all the time. You're also going to have labs where you can apply what you learn immediately after you just learned it in a webinar. So I'm going to teach you something and then you can follow step-by-step -step in a training environment and ask questions anytime you get stuck. And really, it's going to be nothing like a Udemy course. If you've ever taken one of those before, I'm not going to just say, you know, here's the theory, here's the homework, good luck. You know, you're going to have, this is going to be a conversation. We're going to have a dialogue back and forth where I'm teaching you guys stuff. You have the opportunity to ask any questions, even if they're not directly related to a technical concept. You know, if you have questions about career, about interview, about red teaming, about whatever it is in the field, I can answer those for you. We're going to have that dialogue and it's going to be so much value packed in to these six weeks. And not only that, there's going to be tons of bonuses that I throw in. I always love to throw in tons of bonuses and go way above what uh, I usually talk about in these videos. And, you know, I'm not going to bore you with the details of all those. Again, you can check out the description below um, for the link that will really flesh out the fine details of all the bonuses. But you could go and ask anyone who's taken courses and workshops from me 
in the past. One thing that I've done is that I like to give people not just the Udemy course, this is what you need to learn, here's your homework, goodbye, but also really preparing them after the course to succeed. So one thing I like to do is follow up with all of the students in the course, and I'm gonna do this for this one as well, spoiler alert, <laughs> is I'm going to be following up with you after the course ends to see, you know, what are your goals and how can I, and, you know, how can I help instruct you and streamline your learning after the course ends so that you know exactly what you need to focus on, what you need to learn afterwards and you're not just in the dark of like, okay, the six weeks was great, but what do I do now, right? So not only are you going to be super prepared for these job interviews, and honestly, you're gonna cut your time in half that would take you normally from zero to get into pen testing. It's gonna cut that time in half because you're gonna have such a strong foundation having gone through the course, but you're also gonna know exactly what to work on and have a game plan to tackle this stuff. Honestly, I'm jealous of you guys. You are going to get into this field so much quicker than it took me. You're not even gonna have to go $200,000 in student loans in order to do it. Uh, that is not an exaggeration, by the way. I was seriously $200,000 in student loans at one point. So yeah, college is an option, but it's definitely not the option that I would take. And in 2022, I would never recommend it. But if you wanna go the self-taught route, I, I would say that I don't really recommend it because it's just, you know, we're in 2022, there's so many ways that you can really streamline your process out there. And hopefully I was able to, if you if you're really intent on going the self-taught route, um, you can do that and follow the advice that I gave at the beginning of this video and implement that system, find people around you and all of that stuff. And you can make that happen. But if you would rather cut that time in half and streamline your process that much more and remove all that uncertainty and doubt because let's be honest, there's so much information out there. Even experienced pen testers feel overwhelmed. Let me just tell you, I feel overwhelmed sometimes when I'm trying to learn a new concept that I'm not familiar with. It's daunting out there and why not take every opportunity to streamline your learning process? Because let's be honest, learning pen testing is hard enough. Why add in the extra difficulty of figuring out what to learn and coming up with a curriculum and after you do that, you know, if you run into issues, you're going to have to scour the internet, Google for hours. Hopefully you find the answers in a timely manner. Why not just eliminate all of that because this stuff's hard enough to learn already and find a dedicated program that is going to not only teach you all of that stuff, but provide a live, 100% live training environment where you can have a conversation, a dialogue with instructors, with other people learning it. And if you have issues, you can just ask your questions and get them answered within seconds through a live group chat or through a live call versus scouring the internet and wasting hours of your time. You know, if, if it were me, I know exactly what I would choose. And in fact, I do choose this when I learn whatever I'm trying to learn. I always look for coaches and uh, programs and courses like this when I can find them. So I'm definitely someone that practices what I preach uh, in that regard. So I don't know, my rant is over on that. If you want to learn more details, go ahead and check out the description below and it will should answer all your questions. But if for some reason you have further questions, you can always email me or message me on Discord whatever is your preferred way of doing that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.